I don't know if I believe it is gonna get done at one o'clock. I don't really know what I'm meant to do. So we are on our way to the hospital. We have to get our second PCR test. We went yesterday when we got here, but if you remember, if you watched my yesterday's vlog, if you didn't go back and watch it, <laughs> then we got there and they were closed and done for the day. So we had to come back at 8 a.m. this morning, which is right now. So it is currently 7.59. Now we're on the way. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> I want to pet the puppy. Hey, Sadika. on this way and turn right. Turn right. Oh, okay. What happened is, it was really hard to sort of navigate that. <laughs> we were in the line for a while and basically we've been given some sheets to fill out and then we got told to fill them out and come back this afternoon to get the test. And she said one o'clock. It's currently 8.30 in the morning, but I don't really believe, I don't know if I believe that it's gonna get done at one o'clock. <laughs> so I think we might come back a little bit early and just wait for a while, I guess, but I'm not sure. We'll, the thing is, is that we we're here at 3 p.m. yesterday. I don't know. We'll see, I guess. So I did We are on the way back to the hospital. We're gonna head back to the hospital and probably wait. She kept saying one o'clock, but we're not sure whether she was saying be back by one or yeah. come at one. So we're just. It's 11.30, we're just gonna go now and whatever happens, happens. I don't really know what is going on right now. Um, and Michael's gone back, we heard someone say passports. So Michael's gone back to the room to grab our passports, but I don't know, everyone's just kind of standing around. I don't really know what I'm meant to do. So I'm just gonna wait till Michael gets back. A lot of like yelling and tie and stuff. I'm just confused. I hope we can still do it. So update, we've had our things taken and now we're just sitting um, waiting. Someone else got sent away for like an hour and there were a few numbers behind us. So we got told to sit. So hopefully <laughs> we'll get called soon. It is now 12.36. It's 1.30 in the afternoon. So I think now we're going next. Thank you. Yeah. You no stuff? Yes, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a nice day. You too. Okay, so I tried to film that. I'm not sure what I got of it. That was the worst PCR test. It wasn't so bad. It could have definitely been worse. So we were there literally all morning and um, all afternoon and then all yesterday afternoon as well. There's like a, a local looks like restaurant. I'm gonna get some food. Are you scared? No, I'm excited. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, two, one each. Oh. Uh, my pet. So I haven't ever been anywhere like this before. It's super local. Um, no English written under the options at all, which so far I have had. I've had English written for me so I can kind of pick. Even if it just says chicken, um, I have no idea what we're getting. <laughs> so this is super local. I'm excited. So the chicken is so soft. It's like legit boiled chicken. It's like really good. A girl who follows me told me to try the Ovaltine drink from 7-Eleven and it's, it is really good. It's basically chocolate milk. Chocolate milk. So, just gonna go get some coffee now. I was walking down the street and there's a few places that I've seen that I wanna try. Ristretto was 166 baht for two coffees, one hot, one cold. Hi, Sodika. Two lattes are uh, iced, please. Yes. No sugar. Two, please, yeah. Perfect, 130. Uh, did I say chai is yes? Is chai yes? How do I say yes? No. Chai. Chai. Chai ka. Perfect. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. This is so cool. It's in like a bag. The place is so nice. Okay, so we are back. It is 1 a.m. in the morning. So I just want to add on to what happened today. Thai people are lovely and they want to help you so much. And it's no one's fault like that today was stressful. And the nurses there and all the people working were obviously like, it's a pandemic. Like people are understaffed. 
people were trying their best and I think they did everything that they possibly could and they were doing everything they possibly could. But when there's that many people and that many things going on and it was a public hospital, Thailand is doing like the best they can in a like horrible situation for everyone in the world. And I think that the frontline staff are doing a really good job and it takes like, I think a special kind of person to like put their hand up and be like, yes, I'm gonna put myself in danger to like take care of people and to do PCRs. Like, so I just wanna say, that in by no means am I angry at anyone or, or anything. I don't want it to come across like that. I was just so confused today. And I'm in a foreign country. It was really hot. It took from 8 a.m. to like 3 p.m. It was super confusing. And, and yeah. if you're gonna be a nurse in Thailand, you don't need to learn English. Yeah. It's not their fault. It's just a really stressful day. Um, but you know what? I'm traveling the world. Things are good. We're okay. Our PCR's done. We're negative. So I just wanted to say, yeah, the frontline workers are doing everything they can and hospital staff are doing a really hard job for probably not a lot of recognition. So just wanted to say that before I went to bed, but now it's time to go to sleep <laughs> and I will talk to you tomorrow in the next one. Like and subscribe. I think I have a video here that YouTube thinks that you'll like. So go and watch that of mine and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.